Okay, so let me talk about that. Let me continue with that message because it came out here with the devil card and uh, Aquarius got the same card. So this basically denotes how unhealthy habits, unhealthy behaviors from the past. Once we come into the realization that they are not good for us, they hold us back from embracing the new or they get us into a vicious cycle where we are feeling stuck, stagnant, and we can't really make a positive changes in our lives. So realizing these things, being on the forefront of the change that you want to happen in your own life is very, very crucial for this month. I'm also sensing for many of you, please be careful about this. And, you know, I don't like to relay bad news, but I feel like for a lot of Piscean people, um, you know, you're the last sign of the Zodiac. So as a result of it, I feel almost like a lot of the times um, you're very easily influenced by other people and uh, that's not like you're you're influenced in a way where you're easily taken in by other people especially a sob uh, people who give you a sob story you're highly empathic you feel things on a very deep level and so when someone is very flippant when it comes to you know saying things like uh, that might hurt you you take it very personally and I feel like it, it really cuts you to a, um, you know, at a core level. It really hurts you. And so as a result of it, I feel as if you're very, um, it's almost like operating a little bit too much from the heart and not heeding your intuition, not being able to say what you mean and make the changes that you want in your life. So I see a lot of, you know, spinning your wheels, moving in circles here. And first of all, I want to mention the nine of cups appearing together with the temperance card. The temperance card is, uh, both of these things deal with drinking, overindulging, but in particular, as it relates to alcohol, Okay, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol. I feel like for many of you, it's a combination. The devil is uh, bad behavior, bad habits, okay? Things that are not good for us, we know that are not good for us. We're trying to wean away from it. But it's a matter of whether or not we are disciplined enough or we are being too self-indulgent and we're not able to break these cycles. So I feel like there is some major either, you know, smoking, drinking, um, partying too much, spending too much, getting into some type of a negative pattern here that you are aware of. It has been something that you're trying to break away from for quite some time. And you might be lacking in the, in the discipline in order to cleanly and fully break away from it. And I feel like the catalyst that will really allow you to break away from it for this month is because it might, in for whatever reason, affect your health situation, okay, health status. So an example that I'm seeing for some of you, you might be drinking and you might be uh, partying a lot, right? And you might have some car troubles. And this is what I mean by, you know, speeding, driving under the influence, or even keeping company with people who are involved with all of these things. And then when you transport them, you run into legal issues. I want you to be very careful for this month. And if this at all sounds familiar, I just feel as if it might come back to haunt you. Or it might be revealed in a way that is not going to be good for you financially, professionally and so forth, okay? So I do feel some unhealthy habits here that we need to really break. And I'm also sensing many of you, for many of you, this is related heavily to, I also feel hanging out with bad people that might be involved in these things heavily. And then I also feel for some of you, it's like in your life, you're constantly surrounded by it, so access to it is very easy. It's easy to come by, and it's easy to abuse. And you're not like the most disciplined sign of the Zodiac. When you like something, you like it a lot. And I feel like, you know, emo emotional, like, um, your emotional response to it is like that of, you know, Cancerian people, where there's a lot of uh, a tendency to kind of, like, escape via these channels, you know, using these methods, using these um, things as a form of escapism. 
So whatever it is that you're trying to escape from by resorting to these behaviors, I feel like it's really crucial for you to get to the root of it so that you're not running away from your problems, so that you're not spinning your wheels, so that you don't end up with like self-loathing where you feel like, I can't really get where I need to be. I need to break these habits. But then there might be that overindulgence aspect where you feel like you're not able to break away from these habits. Okay. So please be careful of this energy. Please be careful with it because I don't want this to affect you. And I feel like for many of you, this might have been like an escape, you know, like a, it's like a coping mechanism. If, for example, I feel many of you, life is really starting to open up. This is a card about expansion. This is a card about, you know, not being restricted, feeling really hopeful, feeling out like opportunities are coming your way, feeling like life is dealing you whatever you have wanted. And uh, I also feel a lot of new opportunities are coming into the picture for new experiences, new challenges as well, but also just uh, a new way, like turning a, a new leaf, okay? And as a result of this, when things are going really well and you're feeling almost like invincible and you're feeling kind of like on top of the world, and then all of a sudden some major situation comes into the picture that is very unexpected, it might kind of knock you off kilter and then you might resort to these behaviors from the past as a coping mechanism. And if this is something that you were dabbling in or were involved with, or if it was in your environment, you know, drugs, alcohol, drinking excessively, overindulgence in any way, it could be as simple as um, having a glass of wine for dinner to like, you know, drinking three bottles when you're on your own. It could be as simple as, you know, binging on food. So anything that is considered, you know, unhealthy behaviors and especially overindulgent behavior, if this is something that you were struggling with and you're dealing with it right now as a coping mechanism, I want you to know that you need to find a way to get yourself out of this, okay? So that's the first thing, and it's echoed across four cards, six, um, six cards. So I feel like six cards here. So just please be careful and just recognize this behavior and try to find ways to fix it, okay? I know it's easier said than done because you are in the midst of this and you're dealing with this, but I do want you to... The first thing to, you know, recognizing something, recognizing that we need to change is to acknowledge that there is a problem, right? So I feel like this stage of recognizing it, calling it uh, by its name, recognizing for it for what it is, and especially recognizing that it is preventing you from making positive strides in your life, is is preventing you from being in control of your own life with the chariot here. And also recognizing that it is potentially affecting your health with the strength card in the reverse, where it really saps your strength, it saps your energy, it saps your emotional well-being. And I also feel, for many of you, um, they're saying like the past is catching up. So if you have been dealing with any type of unscrupulous behavior, when it comes to from your own behavior or from other people's, um, you know, conduct, I do feel almost like you feel very much alone with this either, you know, if it's something that you're doing, you feel very much alone with this secret, you're holding it very tightly. And then for other people who are doing this to you, and you feel like, you know, you, you feel very alone with the struggle. You feel like, I can't really talk to anybody about this because, you know, no one really understands me. And so the major thing that we have to recognize here is you're not alone in all of this. Finding a group, finding a common community, finding people that are, I'm seeing like a support group, some type of a peer, peer-to-peer -peer intervention group even family intervention, that's going to be very crucial. The judgment card is greatly a community, people banding together in order to heed a greater calling, in order to overcome 
some type of a major cathartic experience that has happened in their lives. And I also feel for many of you, they're saying like the pa the past is catching up. So if it deals with a person that has been doing, you know, that, that has been kind of keeping you very oppressed, keeping you very restricted, doing things to you that are not good, I feel like you're going to find assistance here with a common community of people. It might remove that person from your life permanently. And if it's a relationship partner that might not have been good for you, it's going to bring information to light. It's going to bring this, you know, this sense of like reckoning. And because it removes that element from your life, some of you are just not ready for it. Okay. So I feel like there is a lot of, it's almost like a little bit of denial coming into the spread. You know what's not good for you. You know it's affecting your performance. You know it's affecting the trajectory of your life. But at the same time, you're not really ready yet to make any type of change. There might be some fear associated with it as well. You know, making change, venturing into the unknown, soliciting people for help when you might have felt very isolated and very alone and you feel like no one wants to help me. You know, who, who can I turn to for help? And so they're saying there is help on the horizon. There are people that are willing to come in and be able to help you navigate this energy. It's very scary looking. I feel like based on the spread, there's a lot of fear. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of redemption that can be had because I'm sensing like many of you, it's not like you're in the dark about this. You have enough insight and enough wisdom and enough self-awareness to really know what's not good for you. But I feel like it's just taking that first step. It can feel very daunting and very scary. Okay. So Pisces, your world is opening up. You have to leave bad behaviors, bad people behind. And I also feel for many of you, the tower indicates, you know, like the, the physical dwelling, the physical location. So there might have been some major shakeups when it comes to family. And I'm sensing like, um, I'm sensing like somebody that you thought you could rely on. I feel like they're, they're turning around doing a 180. They might be. A lot of the times with the eclipse, the solar eclipse energy, a lot of people, you know, pass away. People that have been um, kind of struggling, they're, they're, they're either like uh, struggling with their health. I feel like somebody might have recently passed away. And so the family unit is trying to keep everything together. You're trying to keep everything together. And I feel like emotionally, it just feels very, very difficult. And so my advice here is we have a community of people here, family members that you can reach out to. And we have you kind of like reverting to past behaviors as a coping mechanism, which you know is not good for you. So let me just see what we can do here, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is a major, possibly a male figure within the home, somebody that might have been bedridden, somebody that might have dealt with some health issues. I feel like he passed away. The emperor usually indicates, you know, um, a guiding force from the other side. But I feel like with this tower and with this judgment card, it's somebody that might have passed away and created some type of a financial um entanglement like I'm, I'm seeing financial issue within the family so it could be you know leaving an inheritance and everybody wants a piece of the pie for example or it could be like this person this authority figure is no longer in the picture it could be work for some of you this authority figure this figurehead this really strong male or female figurehead is no longer in the picture and now everything is going awry because that figurehead is not there and people will do whatever they want to do. So there's no repercussions. There's no ramifications. There's no um, immediate, you know, like um, sanctions. 
So this is what I'm seeing that you're dealing with. And if that is the case, really try to understand. We want to narrow down the scope here. You know, a lot of the times, right? Because you're the last sign of the zodiac, you embody all the qualities of the previous signs. And that is quite a burden to bear because I feel like you embody all the good traits of the other signs. You are very humanitarian as well. You feel very deeply for other people. You're very highly empathic. When someone's really suffering, I feel like um, for the other signs, they feel bad. But for you, it really hurts you on an emotional level. And if you're dealing with that much hurt and pain, you will resort to things to kind of help you numb and dull the pain. And so what I'm feeling is if you're dealing with a loss of something, reach out grief counseling. Okay. Grief counseling does come through. If you're dealing with a lot of frustration in the work environment, because you know, the figurehead is no longer there and everybody is just, um, behaving in a way that is less than honorable. Just understand that focus on your own responsibilities focus on what you have to do keep your plans and your ideas close to your chest because i feel like there might be as well some intellectual property theft this is you know stealing information behaving unscrupulously and things like that so if that's what you're dealing with guard yourself from it Holding information very closely to your chest. Don't share your ideas. Keep things close at bay. And, you know, try to just focus on what you can change. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Okay. And also, if this is something that you're dealing with health wise, or if it's a behavior that is affecting your health, seek some type of, um, you know, like um, seek a specialist so that you can make sense of it. A lot of the times, you know, we're very fearful when it comes to health issues. We'd rather be in denial about it. But I feel for this month, awareness is, is really crucial. And you might be running from that. You might be running from the truth. You might be like, I feel like some of you are just not ready yet to get that dose of the truth. But I feel it's very crucial for you. So at least you know what to expect and you know how to move forward. Okay. So there is a lot of self-imposed stagnation that I feel is happening here, um, Pisces. And I thought, you know, beginning of this year, I thought this energy is gone, but now it's making a comeback. So I want you to be a little bit careful, okay? I'm going to move on here to your love reading. Um, I just, this card looks really good. And I feel like this is basically the breaking point, you know, like the the, the way out. And a lot of it has to do with diagnoses a lot of it has to do with community of people coming together figuring out what to do and a lot of it do deals with overall intervention people in your environment that really care for you they want to reach out and so the minute that you reach out your support system is going to be there to help you weather the storm okay 